The missing lithium problem refers to an unexpected discrepancy in the amount of lithium observed in the universe compared to what is predicted by Big Bang nucleosynthesis. Big Bang nucleosynthesis is the process that occurred in the first few minutes after the Big Bang, during which light elements like hydrogen, helium, and lithium were formed. According to our theoretical models, the early universe should have produced a certain amount of lithium, but when astronomers measure lithium in old stars and interstellar gas, they find much less than predicted. How can we explain this discrepancy? One possibility is that our understanding of the nuclear reactions during the Big Bang might be incomplete. Some scientists suggest that the reaction rates used in our models could be off, leading to an overestimate of lithium production. However, extensive experiments and simulations have made this explanation less likely. Another idea is that lithium might have been destroyed or hidden over time. For example, lithium could be consumed in stars or locked away in forms that are difficult to detect with current instruments. Could there be astrophysical processes that deplete lithium after it is formed? Yes, certain types of stars may burn lithium in their interiors, and mixing processes in stars can bring lithium to regions where it is easily destroyed by nuclear reactions. Additionally, lithium might adhere to dust grains in interstellar space, making it less visible in the gas phase that astronomers typically observe. These processes, while not fully understood, might account for part of the missing lithium. The problem remains one of the key puzzles in cosmology because it challenges the precision of our models of the early universe. If our predictions of the primordial lithium abundance are incorrect, this could have implications for our broader understanding of cosmology and particle physics. Researchers continue to explore this issue by refining observational techniques, conducting laboratory experiments to simulate stellar conditions, and improving theoretical models. In summary, the missing lithium problem highlights a gap between the predicted and observed amounts of lithium in the universe. By questioning whether our nuclear reaction models are complete, or if astrophysical processes might be hiding or destroying lithium, scientists are working to resolve this discrepancy. Could new observations or advances in our understanding of stellar physics finally close the gap between theory and observation? The ongoing research suggests that we may yet find an answer that deepens our understanding of both the early universe and the complex life cycle of elements. The Big Bang nucleosynthesis is the process that formed the lightest elements, including hydrogen, helium, and lithium, in the first few minutes after the universe began. Theoretical models predict a certain abundance of these elements, with lithium being one of the expected products, yet observations show that the universe contains significantly less lithium than predicted by these models. This discrepancy is known as the missing lithium problem and challenges our understanding of early cosmic processes. For example, astronomical observations of ancient stars reveal lithium levels that are much lower than those calculated by standard Big Bang models. It's like following a recipe that calls for a specific amount of sugar, but when you taste the dish, you find it far less sweet than expected. There is a missing ingredient. Measurements of lithium abundance in old stars and interstellar gas are consistently lower than the amounts predicted by nucleosynthesis calculations, suggesting that either our models are incomplete or that processes have altered lithium levels since the Big Bang. Scientists compare observed lithium levels with predictions to assess the accuracy of their cosmological models, and the missing lithium remains a critical puzzle in astrophysics, indicating that our understanding of the early universe might need revision. For example, when scientists analyze the spectral lines of ancient stars, they find lithium abundances that are only a fraction of what is expected from Big Bang predictions, it's like expecting a full glass of juice from a freshly squeezed fruit, but only getting half a glass. There seems to be a leak or a process that removed some of the juice. During Big Bang nucleosynthesis, nuclear reactions occurred under extreme temperatures and densities, forming light elements in specific proportions governed by well-understood physics that predict precise amounts of lithium formation. However, the predicted rates of lithium production do not match current observational data, implying that our understanding of these early nuclear reactions may be incomplete or that additional processes have modified lithium abundances over time. 
For example, the calculated reaction rates based on nuclear physics suggest a certain production of lithium, but when comparing these with the spectra from ancient stars, the numbers do not align. It's like following a detailed baking recipe that should yield a certain number of cookies, but when you count them, you find many fewer. Uh, something must be affecting the, the outcome. One possible explanation for the missing lithium is that it has been depleted in stars over time through internal processes, as stellar interiors may destroy lithium via nuclear reactions that occur at relatively low temperatures compared to those needed for hydrogen or helium burning. This depletion could explain why older stars show lower lithium levels than expected, though this theory does not fully resolve the missing lithium problem. For example, observations of some stars indicate that lithium is gradually consumed as it is transported into hotter regions of the stellar interior where it is burned. It's like having a savings account where money gradually evaporates due to hidden fees. Over time, the balance is lower than what was originally deposited. Another hypothesis suggests that new physics beyond the current standard models of particle physics may be responsible for the lithium discrepancy, proposing that unknown particles or forces in the early universe could have altered the predicted lithium yields during nucleosynthesis. Such alternative models challenge the conventional understanding and offer potential explanations for the lower observed lithium levels, although these ideas require further investigation and experimental confirmation before they can be widely accepted. For example, some theoretical models introduce hypothetical particles that might have interacted with lithium nuclei, reducing their abundance in the early universe. It's like discovering that an unknown ingredient in a secret recipe is responsible for the unexpected taste of a dish. Until you identify it, the mystery remains unsolved. The missing lithium problem has significant implications for our understanding of the early universe and the fundamental processes that governed its evolution, because if the discrepancy is not due to stellar depletion or observational errors, it may indicate that our cosmological models need revision. This gap challenges the accuracy of our predictions for other elements produced during nucleosynthesis, and resolving this issue is critical for refining our theories of cosmic evolution and the conditions of the early universe. For example, a persistent lithium shortfall may require scientists to reconsider the temperature or density conditions assumed during the first minutes after the Big Bang. It's like noticing that a map of a city is missing an entire neighborhood. You must revise the map to reflect the true layout of the area. Accurate measurement of lithium in ancient stars and interstellar mediums is challenging due to the limitations of current observational techniques. As variations in star temperatures, surface conditions, and intervening cosmic material can affect the spectral lines used to detect lithium. These measurement challenges contribute to uncertainties in the observed abundance data, making it essential to improve observational methods to narrow the gap between theory and observation. For example, astronomers use high-resolution spectroscopy to detect lithium, but variations in stellar atmospheres can complicate the interpretation of these data. It's like trying to count the number of leaves on a tree in a dense forest. The task is complicated by overlapping and obscured views. Computational models simulate the conditions of the early universe and the nuclear reactions that occurred during Big Bang nucleosynthesis, helping predict the expected abundances of light elements, including lithium. Discrepancies between the models and observations highlight areas where our understanding may be incomplete, and continuous refinement of these models is necessary to resolve the missing lithium problem and improve our overall understanding of cosmic history. For example, simulations that incorporate varying temperatures and densities aim to reproduce the observed elemental abundances, but lithium consistently appears lower than expected. It's like using a computer program to simulate weather patterns. The model works well for some aspects, but unexpected discrepancies can indicate missing variables or incorrect assumptions. Future research aims to resolve the missing lithium problem through a combination of improved observational techniques, refined computational models, and exploration of new theoretical frameworks. 
scientists are working to reduce uncertainties in measurements and to better understand the processes that may deplete lithium in stars because discovering the cause of the discrepancy could lead to major revisions in our understanding of the early universe. This ongoing research is crucial for validating or redefining the standard model of cosmology. For example, upcoming missions and new telescope technologies are expected to provide more precise data on elemental abundances in ancient stars, helping to clarify the lithium shortfall. It's like upgrading your microscope to see even the tiniest details. The clearer view might finally reveal why some expected particles are missing. 